So the pressure on the dependent is always so high. Pressure to what? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your own girl, Vokola. To my own subscribers, thank you for coming back and to the new ones, you're welcome. Thank you guys for coming. So today you see a lot of a lot of big men, as in big men are in the in the room with us today. And you should know, see the man there. That's my bobo. <laughs> so we are all here to I'm just share our experience. I'm just trying to depend on to share our experience as <laughs> everyone I have here. They are actually dependent to a student. Oh, my Apart from my husband, <laughs> my our husband wife, is not. My wife are the one that no book and come and. My, like me, I'm not a student, but my husband used to be a dependent while I was a student. But for the three people here, they are their wife is still studying and they are dependent. I just wanted to give give us their reality. I know um, some people will have soft landing, some people will not, might not have, but we just we, we are not controlling it. We are just telling you how it is. Seriously, but and this does not say um, don't come, oh, please come if you want to. We are just sharing our own um, stories. So and uh, I want us to also look back later in life and say, oh, I did this video with Bukola. These things have actually changed now. So it will definitely come to that. So um, with me here, I have. I have. I have. Richard. Richard. Olam Thank you so much for coming. Sorry for the noise. The boys are around. The divine. They are all around. Let's start with Dipo. Dipo, how has it been? You've been here for like five. Five six months and then um, how has it been coming into UK, starting a new life, living all what you had in Nigeria and starting all over again? How has it been? <laughs> the truth. We are promising to say the truth yeah, and nothing but the truth. truth. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, when you ask that question, everybody starts laughing <laughs> because the reality of things is um, the summary of it is it has not been easy. Mm. So to go in depth into that is like you know they told us of this culture shock, but we didn't know there's something called professional shock, <laughs> something called work shock, and a lot of that. It's it's been good, you know. Um, like like we have always thought the system is working, everything is working, but you still need your faith to work here too. So you need to trust God. You need to like um, keep searching. There's a whole lot of um, searching, a whole lot of um, trying to fit into the it's system, shame. trying to acclimatize and get into the system. Of course, it has not been easy, but we thank you. What were you doing before you left Nigeria? Okay, so um, I worked with um, Flowers of Nigeria, so I was in the production sector and all of that. So, and then my background has been environmental management what is the biggest thank you in environmental in nigeria but so has it been easy to actually go into that system uh, now no 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 I've, I've, I've tried quite a lot of places to get into the system but it has not been easy no, to be honest, right. it no I, I say I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad because I know a lot of people have a lot of stories. You can remember Belgium when I brought in Belgium and Belgium told us like he's a bacteria. Shout out to you, Belgium. So these are people that are also in like in Belgium situation because it's not like it's not a situation, but it's just their own experience right now. So and I have Richard with me. Hi Richard. Hey. Hello, my name is Richard. Uh, um, I've been a roller coaster of emotions since I came into the UK, navigating through the system and all of that. Like Deepo said, um, there's something called career shock. <laughs> so, uh, what you are doing back home, breaking into the system here is quite different. So, you would need to um, level up if you have to take some courses to get into the system here. And the system, in a way, is structured. Um, to some extent, to favor yeah, uh, let me word citizen for with um, persistence and uh, your belief. Also, you can actually break into the system and and get it going. Yeah. So it's a good system. I, I must say it's a good system. 
Um, it's not just easy to break through uh, the system. Yeah, it depends. It depends. All depends on um your career. Your or, career yeah, path. Yeah. Okay. But I know if you are in the healthcare um and say to some extent IT, um, it might be easy. Yeah, it's quite easy compared to other. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, back home. Back home. I'm, I'm, I am an optometrist, so an eye care provider. So. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. So, my husband is here. He's the Abba dependent. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> he has been here for one year. Motivational <laughs> speaker. <laughs> Motivational speaker is all new. <laughs> he has the experience. He, <laughs> but I think we should just hear from him. Uh, okay. Uh, for who? The UK has its own up and down, to be honest. Um, coming into the UK, I had my own plan A, plan B, plan C. If this is not working, I'm going to try this. Um, based on the fact that I was not a career person per se in Nigeria. So basically, I wasn't expecting too much in the UK. My only focus in the UK was if I come in, worst case scenario, if I can't run business the way I want to, worst case scenario is to equip myself in terms of leveling up in education. In the last one year at least I've been able to work at least for like 10 weeks straight. So you've worked only 10 weeks in this week? <laughs> yeah, I've tried. At least I... So, Modena speaker is so motivated me <laughs> and I needed the pay sleep for some stuff and I still put in the work even though it is two days, three days in a week but at least work now, work is not bad but the, the truth of the matter is for me, UK has been really a good experience yeah, I put in the work for my business because I'm a business person so I buy things around UK, I travel a lot by stores and the honest truth is this as much as uh, a normal job, a career job, even the warehouse job I did has its own risk because before you start the job you've, you've, you've done the training, they've showed you this risk that the job comes with you may end up losing a leg <laughs> the machine can crush you so anything, even your, this thing, your spinal cord the will tell you your the disc of the spinal cord may, may go out. <laughs> uh -huh. So, I mean, so they, we, we signed the agreement, so it is also in my own line of job. Yeah, I, I do business with different set of people, people who want to scam you, people who are honest. Okay. Um, can you just tell us something about what's been happening so far? experience so far? A lot of things that used to be prayer points are no longer prayer points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so first of all, you do not have to bother about light, yeah. about basic amenities. I mean, for the mm -hmm. first time I've seen to a large extent a reliable transportation network from buses to trains, things we were not yeah, used to. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the best train, where you talk about trains and all that you can rely on them <laughs> in Nigeria. Yeah? And another very beautiful thing about the UK is their health system. Right, so unfortunately, we had a we had a couple of health challenges when we got in here, and I mean, you see, you get to see reliable health workers from ambulance to doctors, how they attend to you, things that could kill people in Nigeria. Yeah. Right, they easily attend to them here. I think that, that was that was the biggest deal for me yeah. coming yeah. to the UK. Right, it was basically a system that. That works. Not perfect here, yeah, but a system that works mm. compared to where we are coming from, right? But aside from that, um, even for the system that works, there is a price to pay. Mm. I mean, um, one thing we used to enjoy in Nigeria is the fact that Nigeria you can see some free free cash, but there's no free penny mm -hmm. in this place. Yeah. Every every that penny, every for? penny you get, you uh, right? Everywhere I've walked you, you can never see one pound from the floor. Before. I bet mean, Nigeria can see one thousand dollars. So this means you don't have to, you have to work, work for everything. For, every for everything you get here, you have to work for it. And the system is wired in such a way that you make money here. They find a way to make sure you spend it. You see, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, from house, from bills yeah. to utilities. I mean, no. see yourself paying out over four hundred, five hundred pounds for utility bills. Mm -hmm. Right, converting that to our uh, local currency in Nigeria is a lot of money. Anyways, but the UK, like my friend said, yeah, 
both up and down sides to it, right? But you definitely have to be prepared to work. You can't be a lazy person in the UK, that's the truth. Yeah. Because there are, there are no handouts in the UK. You work for everything you get. You work hard to actually survive in the UK, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. thank you, Nimega. And uh, I really understand that because they are um, dependent to students, you know, um, a lot of bills has to be paid. And sometimes the wife might not even be working. Or the student cannot work more than ah, 20 pressure, hours. The so the pressure on the dependent is always so high. Pressure to work. Ah, Pressure to work. So I really can understand the pressure dependent really face. Um I, I, I want to just ask, is there any advice you can give to people coming you have experience ah, come, five months. Come. yeah we know we are telling them to come but what do you advise what do you think maybe you didn't do right that you would want them to that you would like others to learn from let me say say it that way should i start from you okay uh from my own past because he has more than one year <laughs> yeah. if if i was to rewind time and do things differently Apart from the business person that I am, because to be honest, business has been good at least. I've been able to register my company and also start trading fully so that I can be a full taxpayer. Something else I will tell anybody coming to do is no matter how bad, learn a soft skill. As in a skill you can do that to make because those things that you do in Nigeria that they they can pay you for. Like they give you just chicken change. Yeah, in the UK, it's not it's not a joke. Yeah, you like plumbing, carpentry. They, they, they just they pay and, for as in I know I know people who are anti guys. They are not even they are, they are jack of all trades. Professionals in none. Mm -hmm. But these guys, they can do plumbing, not the advanced level. They can do fitting. You buy stuffs, uh, electrical stuffs, they help you fit it, all those things. Oh, or maybe yeah, you buy yeah. furniture stuff, they help you fix it together. And all those small stuff. For those small, small stuff, they won't charge you anything below 40, 50 pounds to do it. So if you can learn those things, they look like uh, it's a joke. But the reality is that people need that skill. Painting is one big deal here. Yeah. Brick layer is a big deal here. Yeah. Fine, you know it and you come here, you still need to do some little certificate courses to add to it before you can get that kind of jobs but if you can learn a hard work or worst case scenario if you are not the husband type learn something in it so that that way even if it is a graduate entry room you can still enter into it that is just what i would have said all right thank you so okay, okay. Um, what so would you advise from your yeah so far? Um, would you like to Coming. So if if I was to go back in time mm -hmm. and then do different to do things differently, probably I would have um, kept my options open because you know um, when we were living we were living with the mind of um, we were going to get our lives better and not because of even us because of our children mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So but we discovered that even before the children <laughs> enjoy the life of <laughs> <laughs> so that was the shock. You know, we, we felt uh, this was an automatic thing for us, and then our children were just yeah. going to eat. But you know, we would have kept that mind open to say, okay, fine. Um, like you rightly said, if it's an option for you to go in that line, and you feel you can do that line, you have to know how to do it well. In UK, you'll be rewarded for the things you know how to do well. That's yeah. UK for you. If you know how to do it well, you'll be rewarded for it. So keep, I would have kept my options open. So the advice for you guys is still, still come. You have to come. There's enough room for us to, to, to explore. There's enough places to take, to take over here. So, but, but I need you to keep your options open. I need you to earn a skill, a skill that you know. Okay, fine. And what you're expecting doesn't come. You can. Apply this for the main time. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. That's okay. Yeah. So, um, for me, uh, what I would say is um, do a background um, research about the city planning um, um, relocating into because um, for some cities there are limitations when it comes to job. So some dependents have to travel outside that city to get a job and trying to strike a balance between coming home and or paying another yes, rent yes. in another city <laughs> it could be um, tiring and it's a, it's a challenge so do a, do a background check 
in that city to be, be very sure um, your, their opportunities in line with your course or your background and also you can depending on what you you you're studying or what you have at hand you can if you want to continue in the uk you can actually start the process from nigeria um take for instance if, if you're independent and you, you're, you're in the nursing or you're a nurse so you can actually start the process like um, your IL and all of that. So when you come into the UK, it's almost it like it just so yeah. Well. So you just fit into the system once. It's not like you're yeah, starting you start all over and you, you now start you doing them petty push. jobs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you start doing so much. Yeah, yeah. 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 start it from Nigeria. Yeah. 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 You just start it from Nigeria. Yeah. So you save yourself a lot of stress instead of coming in and doing jobs like warehouse and. Yeah, I know that a lot of people plan to to leave Nigeria because of this last election. I'm not coming into politics, but I know a lot of people have reached out to me to start the process. Immediately we got our Bala Blue, Blue Black <laughs> entry. So you know, I know I know this. This was what happened to me too in 2020. Immediately October massacre happened. That was the game changer for me. That was when I started the relocation plan. So I know as you are planning, just as you are said, look at the location you are coming into. Presently, in all cities, we've been having a lot of issues concerning job. And I'm not going to lie to you. Anybody that comes to my DM and asks about job in all. Work not the all. Work not the all again. No. Like there is job, but it's, it's really... <laughs> Yeah, yeah can you do it? But it's, it's even hard to, now. To Students are not even getting now. Anywhere, it's some it's some place you go to now. now. No, some place you go to now in all, oh, they will tell you they don't want student at all. It's everywhere. Let me have people are having the same issue. I wish, I wish. Damn, yes. Yeah, even London. Much. This all is getting more. It was not like this in our time. So, so this is getting more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is getting yeah. more. Yeah. 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 Because even in London, they are complaining. They are not, they are not giving them even 20 hours. Because almost all of them are what people who can do full time. So it's affecting students, but general work for people who are, who are dependent, they are still getting. People can they do that kind of job? Yeah, that's that's the that is that is not it's not that doing is, the job. You, know, you can just do, do it. Do, yeah, the just for a few months. For a few months. Yeah, and this is what I want you guys to also know that um, you should not come with the mindset that I should do care. I should do mm. Tesco, I should do um, all this warehouse job. I mean, I'm not that, I'm not that, I'm not that, yes, no. Uh, yes, let me go to the campus. I think you should let me say his advice. Don't you say your advice? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah. so uh, yeah. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll quickly show you a couple of things. Yeah. So, there's one thing um, Joel mentioned about learning a skill. It might not necessarily be for to make money off of it, right? I remember when we first got into the house, I paid 240 pounds to someone who just came to clean for less than one hour. Clean. Seriously? Yeah, because there are equipment he had that I couldn't leave my wow. hands on. So this guy made a lot of money. Just mm -hmm. cleaners could make a which was 500 pounds in a day. Mm -hmm. He just cleaned more. So, the, the whole DIY concept is really the only people that do yeah. everything. I, yeah. I have all the tools I have in this house. So, from electrical tools to plumbing material, everything I have them, right? You, you're forced to learn these things. Maybe you might not make money off of it, but it yeah. saves you from spending. Then, but yeah. you are ready to make yeah. tools. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> it, it helps you save to yourself. Yeah. That's what. There's something else is I, I think to come into the UK, you need to have thick skin. Because mm. trust me, not everybody will treat you well. People will talk to you anyhow. Mm. People will treat you badly, right? Mm. But you already have a plan. You know what you're chasing after, and the ability to not let it get to you mm. is what keeps you sane in this place. <laughs> because your mental, mental health, health is real. <laughs> your mental health thing is real. In Nigeria, I think as Nigerians, we are lucky. They have natural thick skin, right? But <laughs> if, you do, if you do not have it, you don't have this. See Shege, Shege Banza. Unfortunately, unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But basically, basically, it's a, it's a, it's a good experience. It's something everyone, everyone should experience, right? But you should be ready for what is coming ahead. Basically, that's. Mm. You should be ready for what is coming ahead because you might not really get what you wanted at first, and you just want to go for anything. But because you have to pay bills, you can't just sit down. We have to pay bills, and because of paying bills, and I would advise, don't get carried away with those things you got at first 
yeah. and not look forward to yeah. move further. Yeah, yeah, don't get carried away. Like, okay, you've been doing care and you're getting like 17, 17 pounds per hour job or 15 pounds per hour or, 12, or 10 pounds. Or 12, 10 10 pounds. Or, uh, and you are just carried away. Like, oh, this one is not for me. But you know, you know, you you just be there and forget yourself. In five years, you're you're still, doing, you're still doing the same thing. I, I we call, shouldn't be. I call those job distractions. Yeah, yeah. But you need them to pay bills. Yeah, but you, you need, need them. them. But they are distractions. You are just to survive. Good, so. yeah. So but don't, don't get carried be, away. Don't, don't be get stopped. Mm. Just to make sure mm. that mm. they are key. You are, yeah, you are looking for what you want. Yeah, thank you. It gets better anyways. Yeah, it really do. It really do. Just give yourself time. Three yeah. to five years. And that's what you do. Yeah, yes, man. But it's the reality. Let's be honest. It's the reality. You are coming into a new environment, to a new country. You meet people there. Mm. We are professionals like you as well. So there's no way you are going to do good this thing. It's good time because yeah, it's coming as a student. They, most of them came in as a visitor. And they didn't go back and and they so come in right now. And they don't do anything. Now, they don't do anything. 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 They Back then, before you even get the ROP, I'm yeah, gross. Maybe we lost paper, yeah. We are, yeah. We are even lucky At to have. We are breaking, coming, we are yeah. breaking yeah. into the yeah. system. Yeah. And so, don't don't make it, uh, don't make it like um, a normal thing. When they tell you that it's the only care that you can get there, no, no, no don't search for less. Don't search for yeah. less. There, there's mm. other opportunities. I have a doctor here. I have a big sales person here. <laughs> I have an environmental person here. And my other business guru on my back. I, I really want to see us in the next five years taking territories, going to the city council you have, try and see there are some opportunities. I know there's a lot of unfortunately. Seriously, a lot of me, I am Baba of if you hear unfortunate, na me, I didn't hear him. So it's a normal thing, but it was not easy. Thank God for my husband, I was even applying. At the point I stopped applying because it was affecting me. It was affecting my head. It was affecting everything about me. You know, but you you just don't stop. I pray God help us. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you. I really yeah, appreciate yeah, you guys. Yeah, 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 thank you. We, have, we can't wait to have all of you. <laughs> Keep coming <laughs> to the UK. We want to see you. Come and join <laughs> us. <laughs> see you guys in my next video. <laughs>